Ableton Live 11's auto filter stands out as an exceptional tool for creative sound design, offering a blend of classic analog filter emulation with modern modulation capabilities. This versatile effect is not just for tackling problematic frequencies like an EQ, it's a dynamic tool capable of producing a wide range of sounds from subtle to drastic transformations. The auto filter provides classic analog filter emulation that can be modulated in real time, offering a playground of sonic possibilities. It features four classic filter types, high pass, low pass, band pass, and band reject, and a unique morphing filter for seamless transitions between sounds. Low pass filter allows low frequencies to pass, perfect for accentuating elements like bass and kick drums in a mix. High pass filter highlights higher frequencies such as cymbals and synths by suppressing lower frequency sounds. Band pass filter, a combination of high pass and low pass filters, this type only allows a specific range of frequencies to pass, often creating a telephone-like effect. Notch filter, Opposite to the bandpass, this filter lets audio outside of a certain range pass through. Morph SVF filter includes a morph knob to fluidly switch between different filter types. Selecting a filter type and adjusting the frequency and resonance is straightforward. The XY controller or separate knobs allow for precise control. High resonance settings can produce intense effects, particularly when moving the filter frequency, but it's important to manage volume levels to avoid peaking. The auto filter's LFO, low frequency oscillator, is key to creating evolving sounds. The amount knob determines the modulation's amplitude and the rate controls its speed. Different wave shapes from sine to square offer varied modulation characters. The sample and hold wave shapes, which generate random values, can add an element of unpredictability to your sound. The phase control in the LFO section is instrumental for crafting stereo effects. At 180 degrees, the LFOs for left and right channels work oppositely, creating a sense of movement in the stereo field. The spin and offset knobs further enhance this effect, offering creative ways to modulate your sound in stereo. The envelope knob controls how the input signal's volume affects the filter frequency. Positive values increase the frequency with volume, while negative values decrease it. The attack and release controls allow for further fine-tuning, ranging from fast, funky responses to more gradual, subtle effects. The quantize beat feature introduces tempo-synced steps to filter modulation, ideal for adding rhythmic character to pads or leads. Experimenting with different beat values and the phase control can yield a range of effects from smooth sweeps to choppier rhythmic modulations. Side chaining in the auto filter opens up even more creative possibilities. By using the dynamics of another track and live to trigger the filter's envelope, you can create interactive effects between different elements of your track. Gradually increasing the envelope control in conjunction with the gain and dry wet knobs allows for intricate interplay between the side chain signal and the direct signal. Ableton Live 11's auto filter is much more than a simple sound shaping tool. It's a gateway to creative expression in digital music production. Whether you're experimenting with different filter types, modulating with the LFO, or exploring sidechain dynamics, the auto filter offers endless possibilities for crafting unique soundscapes. Embrace the flexibility and creativity it offers and let your sonic explorations go wild.